<laughs> yeah. So don't I mean, hesitate to talk to somebody in the hot tub. That's yes. the lesson. <laughs> so random strangers. Random strangers. You never it, know. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> everyone uh, welcome back to this channel welcome back to this video or welcome to this video this is one of the people of Maui videos where I talk to different people who live on Maui we talk about a life on Maui and we just get to know people who live here and today my guest is Anne-Marie welcome to this video <laughs> thank you very much I'm happy to be here now, let's start with how long have you lived on Maui and how did you decide to move to Maui, assuming you weren't born here? I was not born here, no. I'm very fortunate. We have been on Maui for about two and a half years and in 2018 we came on a vacation to meet um, some friends and it's the only place that my husband Jim felt comfortable the only place that he thought he might want to retire. However, Maui is a really unique place and mm -hmm. not many people think they can live here. Yeah. And he thought the same. So the friends that we met um, took him aside and said, hey, let's let's look at your numbers and let's see what you've saved and, and if you can really do this if you want to. Mm -hmm. If I had said it, he would have never believed me, <laughs> but it always takes somebody else right. to um, to show you an opportunity. So his friend showed him the opportunity, mm -hmm. and he believed him. So uh, on our plane ride home in 2018, we were on the phone with the mortgage lender, yeah. who said, yeah, okay, I get a lot of phone calls like this, so if you really think you're going to move, call me when you have a house or have something you're interested in. Mm -hmm. So three months later we were signing paperwork and doing a walkthrough and uh, found our house here on Maui. <music> and so this is where he has retired for um, the rest of his days. He loves it and he won't leave. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But mm -hmm. I do travel, so. Right. I was going to say, you were saying, <laughs> he retired, he was right, right, right. What about you. <laughs> I, yeah, I mm -hmm. love it too. It's probably one of the most healing places I've ever been. How, so. When you say healing, how do you experience it or what you, what you mean, what it means to you when you say that? That's a great question. I think the the island itself has its own personality mm -hmm. and it picks and chooses who's allowed to be here and isn't um, and I think for me as far as the healing goes it's being able to go to the water being able to get those minerals that you can't get any other way other than by walking into the ocean mm -hmm. um, it's the weather it's mm -hmm. I mean I'm outside and it's September Mm -hmm. Where I used to live, I'd be in coats and hats and rain boots and mm -hmm. on one day and shorts the next day and then a parka the day after that because the weather is so crazy. But I think the healing comes with the consistency. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. that's why I like that. One time I remember I just all of a sudden felt certain peace. Like there was this extra level of peace and then I realized one year had passed since I had lived on Maui. Oh, wow. Have you had any kind of experience with the same with... It's it, similar. I, um, I've been here two and a half years and the first few months were very very busy in just unpacking and, and what to unpack and what to keep and what fit here and what didn't and so mm -hmm. that was a little crazy um, the first few months, but that peacefulness that you talk about, I think, does hit after that year, because mm -hmm. it's like, oh, wait a minute, 
I am on paradise and I am, you know, I can wake up early in the morning or I can sleep a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's day or night, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, it's even beautiful when you, when you can't see anything, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, I mean, in the darkest of night, it's even beautiful then because it's so still. It's mm -hmm. so still you can't see the edges of the island. I'm a people person, as, as you know, mm -hmm. and um, I love to meet people, all different people. Mm -hmm. And I've been lucky enough for them to accept me. I have been taken in by some Hawaiian friends and some Tongan friends and some Japanese friends and some Filipino friends and Latvian friends. <laughs> and um, I think for me, that's where the peace comes from mm. in that um, they have allowed me into, into their circles and trusted me enough with the cultures and and knowing that I'm here to learn and fill my cup mm -hmm. rather than to, you know, some people go someplace and tell you how to do everything oh, right. because yeah. clearly you don't know, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> but I think if you come to the island and your cup is empty and you're mm -hmm. ready for it to be filled, the island likes that, mm -hmm. I think, and, and then makes every day easier. Have you noticed that everything feels more relaxed in general? In general, yes. I would say in general. For me, it's hard uh, at this moment, but um, just because I always feel like I'm supposed to be doing, some, doing something. Mm -hmm. um, and I think I'm being taught that even just sitting and enjoying mm -hmm. is doing. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, I'm learning that it's I'm a little bit of a slow learner <laughs> with that because I think I should be running, 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 and if I'm doing mm -hmm. all the running, I'm not seeing the beauty or I'm missing, you know, mm -hmm. missing the smell of the plumeria trees or mm -hmm. I'm missing something if I don't slow down. So I think yes, the island makes you calm down or slow down enough, I think, to recognize things that you wouldn't see otherwise. And um, we think of a vacation, we often think of a sunny place. Yeah. That's mostly associated. Of course, people go on vacation skiing, and, but I think most, most popular way of thinking on, of vacation is by the beach. Yes. And then if people live by the beach all the time, it seems like it's all more relaxed. Yes. If that makes sense. Yeah, I. it that's does. That's kind of where, yeah, where my question came. I think that's a, a great way to say it, is that people, when you go to vacation, you're looking for the sun and the sand and mm -hmm. whatever it is that makes you feel warm and free from telephones or computers or whatnot. Mm -hmm. We're losing you. But oh, you are more important. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would say I think that's why it's healing to me mm -hmm. because of that. Just becoming more aware of the natural beauty mm -hmm. around, and I think that translates then into how we treat people. And I think I yeah. think it's all connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Do you have any crazy synchronicity, coincidences, something like that, stories in relation to moving here or since you've been here? Um, crazy meaning like in a good way crazy. In a, in a good way crazy? <laughs> yeah. I um, So, like I said before, I'm a people person and um, I have been very fortunate because I kind of connect people. Somebody needs a job and they're good at accounting. And I know somebody over there who needs an accountant. And mm -hmm. so I can connect them together. Mm -hmm. So I kind of see opportunities to, to connect people. Mm -hmm. and, and that's something I did where I lived before. But here it's almost easier. Mm. Um, 
it's a smaller island, even though we have thousands of people coming every day, mm -hmm. um, the people who are here all the time um, may not know each other. They may stay in their own little bubble. Mm -hmm. So um, I've been able to bring people to different bubbles mm -hmm. and um, mix the bubbles mix, together. Mix them together <laughs> and, and let them figure out what they were going to do um, just to make it better. But one synchronicity, synchronicity, synchronicity. So my daughter, who is currently in college, when we came here, she's very shy, mm -hmm. very introverted, very different from me. <laughs> okay. um, but she's an artist. And I happened to be showing some real estate space to a client and I stumbled into an art gallery. Coincidentally, they became my friends, <laughs> but the artist became my daughter's kumo, my daughter's teacher. And with his help, she grew exponentially in nice. her confidence, in her art, in her just being herself and being okay with it. I think for teenagers it's kind of hard sometimes, but mm -hmm. but that was the biggest thing. I stumbled into the shop. Mm -hmm. We started to talk about art. Mm -hmm. They became my friends. I brought my daughter and then she started teaching for them. Nice. You know, teaching the little kids. So mm -hmm. so I think that was the coolest thing so far. Besides nice. besides meeting you nice. and my and you and um, Sue yeah. That, that was interesting. That was, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Should I tell it on camera? <laughs> I don't know. So here it goes. So I was with my friend at um, a condo, and there was a pool there. So me and my friend were at this pool, and there's also a little hot tub at the pool, and I bounced from the pool to the hot tub because I like the hot and cold. Okay. So there were these two cool looking ladies um, sitting in the hot tub and they were having a conversation about business stuff. I couldn't help myself because I have been in business for most of my adult life. And uh, I said, excuse me, <laughs> I'm not really listening in, but I kind of am, but I have an idea. We met in the hot tub. <laughs> and, we be and we became friends, so here we are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So don't I mean, hesitate to talk to somebody in the hot tub. That's yes. the lesson. <laughs> to random strangers. Random strangers. You never it, know. You never know. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> we've learned so far that you are people's first people person and you like beach. What else is that you like to do, what you enjoy? Just be with a person. I love to sing. Mm -hmm. um, I like to do art. Uh, creative stuff when I give myself time to do it. Mm -hmm. I like that. I like to read when I give mm -hmm. myself time to do it. Mm -hmm. it's, um, but mostly I, I enjoy meeting people and connecting people and if I can help somebody um, with an idea or a thought or something that helps them figure out something new for themselves that they mm -hmm. want that makes me happy. And I like kids. I was a teacher for a long time, so kids are kids are really cool. Cool. So now talking about exploring Maui, what has been your favorite place so uh, far? Assuming you maybe haven't really explored everything or seen everything. I haven't seen everything for sure. Iao Valley is beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and it's right down the hill from me, so I'm mm -hmm. I'm very lucky to be there. Um, on the road to Hana, there's a place called the Garden of Eden, yeah, um, which I love for a couple of reasons. One, because it's just beautiful. You can walk all over the place, and there's the bamboo forest there, and um, mm -hmm. all kinds of flowers and an indig indigenous things. But the reason I like it most is the backstory. Mm. So, because it was um, created by a father and daughter. And they, for many, many, many years, planned and worked and figured out where the trails were and labeled all the plants. And, and they both still run it today. And I thought it was really cool that they would put their heart and souls into this mm -hmm. space 
um, as father and daughter and then share it with everybody. So I like that. This is a cool story. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's really neat. Everything's beautiful for sure. I think the favorite thing for me to do is to be on the water. Mm -hmm. So during whale season, not whale season, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. If I'm on the water, I think that's the best. Any suggestions for somebody who comes to Maui? Would they definitely have to see the places you mentioned or something else too? Yes, I would say throw to Hana, take your time, leave early, use the Shaka guide. <laughs> <laughs> He'll tell you all kinds of cool things. Um, Garden of Eden, Iao Valley, Haleakala, um, the volcano, a lavender farm, botanical garden. Mm -hmm. I think if you like wine, the wineries are wonderful. Mm -hmm. favorite do place? you have a favorite place to eat? I do. My favorite is this little place called Sam Sato's. And Sam Sato's is a Simon place. Um, and it's right here in my little town of Wailupu and it's mm -hmm. in an industrial neighborhood. It's busy from the minute they open to the minute they close. Just a little place and it is the best. It is the best nice. Sam Sato's. Say the biggest change has happened for you within you since you moved here. Is there something? Yeah, yeah. I would say that I think I think I have always been very difficult on myself, hard on mm -hmm. myself. And I think here I have allowed myself to be okay, experience things without anything in the way. For example, and this might not be a great example, but where I come from, I would never go to the beach in a swimsuit. Mm -mm. I wouldn't do it because people just aren't that nice oh. sometimes right mm -hmm. here i love it because everybody is just who they are and i don't think i've ever experienced that oh, so that's the, that's the biggest thing for me is that i can actually go to the beach and i'm okay with myself so wow oh, that's big it's not mm -hmm. fancy it's not you know nothing deep but it it's cool. Cool. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's nice. The aliens came and they wondered, what is ho what is Maui? <laughs> what would you tell them? I mean, that was completely, <laughs> what is it was completely random thought and question. It could be anybody who yeah. doesn't know anything about Maui. What would you tell them about Maui? A few words. What they, they need to know. Can you? Is it even possible? It's really difficult. I think just off the top of my head, I would say Maui is a piece of paradise that is filled with so much culture and history and aloha because I don't think, I don't think a definition of aloha does it justice. Aloha mm -hmm. is, it's own thing mm -hmm. um, and that if you come here like I said before with your glass empty the island will fill you up with things you never knew you needed mm. in conclusion of this video is there something I didn't ask you about you about Maui living here that you feel like is important to share mm -hmm. that you would like to share or mm -hmm. say no, I think, I, think, I think this is awesome that you do this, and um, uh, I appreciate you for thinking of me and, and uh, asking me to be a part of this video. Nice. Mm, you're welcome, and thank you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you for doing this interview and being up for it, and thank you all for watching. 
if you have any comments, any questions, any suggestions, anything, comment in the comment section below. <laughs> and um, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next video. Aloha.